Good evening and welcome into sports from inside the season Superdome. I'm Megan Glover. And I'm Elijah Nixon. Elijah, high school football has officially ended, but we have had the luxury of having a great slate of games over the weekend, including the big rivalry that is between number one STM and number three LCA. But y'all are not here to hear me talk about it. Let's show you the highlights. Final game in the Knights uniform for quarterback Juwan Johnson, who's scrambling. He will go on a 25-yard run to the crib putting the first score on the board for LCA. He would also score another one, making that a 14-0 lead. But later on in the second, STM's John Luke St. Pierre on the two-yard rushing attack. The Cougars now get on the board. Johnson throws a pick to Cougars Lachele, who returns it for a big 80-yard return to the crib on a house call as STM goes high things up in the second on the last minute at 14 apiece. Take you on to the third quarter with about five minutes and 30 seconds left in the third. Johnson on a five-yard scramble to the house. That would be his third touchdown on the day. Three minutes left in the quarter. STMs. St. Pierre with a six-yard run. That would be his second on the day as well. STM ties things back up at 21. In midway through the fourth, quarterback Sam Altman punches it in from one yard out. And this is where the Cougars say, ring me up, as STM picks up their second straight championship victory. So for STM, they still reign supreme as they pick up their second straight title. But Elijah, things looked a little lopsided there early on. Yeah, you know, usually it's a back and forth game between these two. But today, LCA got to a 14-point lead. And STM, they did get some momentum, but they missed two field goals. But then they started to pick it back up, tying things up 14-14 at the half. And after that, they continue to ride that momentum and turn that 14-point deficit to a 14-point win. You know, and the, and the funny thing is there, there wasn't one selfish player in that group. There's nobody that was thinking, you know, me, me, me. It was everything we ever did was about team, you know, and how can we, how can we help the group succeed? Uh, very unselfish players. Well, Elijah, for STM, you talk about a team that's been to the championship game time and time again, but they just have not been able to get the job done. And for these past two seasons, obviously, STM has been their kryptonite. Today made four straight times that the Knights fall to the Cougars, twice in the regular season and now twice in this building. Now, although this year's contest wasn't a race to 100, it did become a shootout started by LCA's Jawan Johnson, who got the ball rolling for the Knights with two rushing scores in the first. He would actually add one more in the third, becoming the leading rusher for LCA and tack on 270 yards passing. Now, of course, Johnson was emotional post-game and not being able to get the job done, but head coach Hunter Landry says he went out swinging. He's as good as I've ever been around. Um, he, he, he does a great job of, uh, I think it starts Monday through Thursday. His work ethic Monday through Thursday at practice is, is second to none. Um, he's not a guy that slacks off in practice. He runs what you see on Friday. He runs that hard in practice. So um, he, he only knows one gear. Uh, he's a, a tremendous athlete. Uh, you know, where, whatever he decides to do uh, moving forward, he's going to be great at it, whether it's football and then life after football. He's going to be